Yo, what's up guys, it's Prince Charming. We are gonna be checking out the odd one out hobbies on today's video. Now that I really think about it, I probably don't have as much hobbies as I should being a 22 year old in college. On a standard week, I work, go to school, work out, and that's essentially it. Maybe one day out of that week, I may go out or I may have, hang out with friends. But for the most part, I probably, I'm just chilling. Like I just chill all day, but I do, I do have fun. I do think I like to say I have hobbies. Like I always wanted to travel. I want to plan a trip or something during spring break. I don't know who I'll go with. I don't know where I'll go, but I wanted to go like on an international flight. I don't want to go to somewhere like Vegas or California or Florida. I know I want to go. I want to do the big move. I want to go international because that is something that I want to do. But if you hit me a like, subscribe and go ahead and comment. What is a hobby or what is like a goal bucket list that you want to accomplish? This, like I said, I want to travel to an international place and I want to travel to a lot more because currently my friend works and he travels not for a living, but they send him out many times a month or a year. So recently he went to New Mexico, Alabama. He went to Nigeria the other two or three months. Like he goes a lot of places. I always thought that was cool because you get to experience new culture, experience new things and all around have fun. But enough of me talking, let's go ahead and check out the odd one out hobbies on today's video. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Parents want their children to be well-rounded. But the problem that every parent <laughs> faces is that seven-year-olds would rather watch any video on YouTube than learn how to play the violin. That's so true. So how do these concerned parents get their children to be more active? Answer, they force them. Now, forcing your kids into activities isn't a bad thing. In fact, overall, it's extremely helpful. Forcing kids into doing something they don't want to do is the only way we can get them to go to school. Exactly, because they'd much rather just... Loud, kinda Kind of sounded watch right. youtube Doing videos extra all activities day. especially at a young age Sheesh. not only teaches you important skills but it also teaches you what your interests are how are you gonna know if you don't like ballet unless you try it i don't I've like ballet it. and now i can say with confidence i don't like ballet <laughs> i'm sure i'm not the only one who's had to deal with parents signing you up for sports instruments and more sports i think when you're really young you don't realize that you have a choice your parents just start taking you to soccer practice every wednesday and you think Oh, okay, I guess I'm doing this now. Every but kid all plays soccer I was into, and did karate. I never got invested in any of them. I'm still so glad cliche. I did them. You know, I forgot how old I was when my mom signed me up for soccer, but I was little enough. Oh, uh, look at little James! Kids. I can't tell you how many games you won or how many goals I scored. It was probably close to zero because I ultimately didn't care about soccer. The only thing I cared about was getting a treat after every game. I was probably not like this. My parents did not sign me up for any sports. They didn't force me to do anything. Really, they just wanted me to focus on my books. That's what they forced me to do because I have foreign parents. My parents are African and yes, we think sports are cool. Yes, we think playing an instrument, being artsy and crafty is cool. But at the end of the day, the thing we value the most is your education and how smart you are. So they were not going to sign me an extra curriculum activities unless it was like to get a better resume or to like further my educational path or something like that it wasn't really that much fun in my house I didn't <laughs> I got to play video games but not as much as you think I didn't really get to have friends over I didn't really get to go out as much I was pretty much trapped in the house all day so looking from it at a psychological standpoint I guess you could say that <laughs> that's the reason why I am today the reason why I'm just like chilling all the time is because my parents didn't let me do much when I was young so I never really like got to make experiences that sh uh, sh shaped my adulthood I feel like I said that so wrong but you get what I'm saying because I earned it I know some kids who really enjoyed playing soccer. I forget which video I mentioned this, but back in the day, there was this kid I knew named Micah. He used to live in the house directly behind mine, and we were on the same Little League soccer team. He was really good at soccer, got probably a comb better over. than I'll ever be, and he still plays to this day. Look like well, a comb. okay, it's been four <laughs> years since I last talked to him, but he was still playing soccer to this four years ago. Now, did Micah's parents initially force him into playing soccer? I'm sure they did. Probably, I didn't ask. But if his parents never forced him into it, he would have never known how good he was at the game and how much he enjoyed it. But that's enough about Micah. This, this may be on the anime craft. I, don't I like how that. I stopped playing soccer. I just stopped showing up to the practices one year. <laughs> <laughs> and then I never played again. And then my mom he put did me the into disappearing Boy Scouts. Thing. That was a lot better because it wasn't competitive and camping is awesome. And I made some dumb videos about it. Mm. So it was a return investment. Boy Scouts sound fun. The activity my mom put me in was this martial art class called Aikido. 
I'm honestly surprised I've gotten 107 videos without mentioning Aikido once. Mm. Probably because it was boring and nothing interesting happened. My mom put me and my twin sister into Aikido and we both agreed that it was boring and we didn't like it. So we decided not to remind my mom whenever she had to take us to class. <laughs> and surprisingly, she forgot the time. Okay, look, whenever the sensei was talking, we had to sit on our knees and that gets uncomfortable after two seconds. What is uh -huh. Aikido, I hear you asking? Aikido is a... Uh, special form of martial arts in that it doesn't teach you how to fight. Aikido what? Aikido is all about self-defense and to also not hurt the attacker. Okay, okay, yeah, that's cool and all, but if somebody is coming after me, I don't want to just be able to self-defend. I want to be able to beat their ass. <laughs> and I did do, I didn't exactly do exactly what he's talking about, Aikido or whatever, but I did boxing and martial arts, and this was three years ago, so it wasn't when I was a kid, it was actually when I was older, and I kept up with it for a good six months. That's something I can do. Boxing is some definitely something I can do, but self-defense, bro, it, the whole reason why you want to learn those cool moves is so that nobody will go and mess with you, and if they do mess with you, you're going to make a lesson out of them, so or an example out of them. So self-defense really won't do it. You gotta learn how to beat ass. Those self-defense techniques that are like, if someone tries to attack you, use your keys as a knife and Damn! Them. Aikido is not that. And a keto master will take an attacker's arm, spin them around, and then pin them down to the floor. Now that sounds really cool on rice paper. Like if someone goes to attack you and then you block their punch and pin them to the ground. But that's not how a real fight is. Like you want to take me on, kid? Real fights I are not like that. Pin down. <laughs> now I'm not going to hurt you because I'm that powerful. But if you ever attempt to attack me or my clan ever again, I will be forced to use 10% of my power oh, and break your spine. He's talking about out. My Hero Academy. And I think my mom saw that Akito was non-violent and taught self-defense. She anime. thought it was a better activity than learning how to kick someone in the face. But after doing some research on Akito, I've learned that it's not really... What's the right word? respected in the martial art community. There's a lot of people mm. saying that the techniques of Aikido don't work against a real attack. Exactly. And if really attacking you, you can't <laughs> reasonably pin them down without hurting them. So it's probably a better idea to just punch back. And some people who are in Aikido think that their style of fighting is more civil and the more eloquent way of fighting or non-fighting. They've probably so never gone a fight before. In the martial art mm -hmm. <laughs> now, surprisingly, I've never been in a real fight, so I can't really comment on what the more effective martial art is. I'm sure different situations call for different responses. It's definitely but boxing. I don't think I'm wrong when I say that Aikido is the vegans of martial arts. After Aikido, the next thing I was forced to learn was an instrument. My parents oh, didn't force me to do this. It was the American <laughs> education system that did. In fifth and sixth grade, everyone had to take a band class, and we all chose different instruments to play, and I went with the flute. And as soon as I was given the flute, I, I wanted to do the flute. chose percussion, and that's what I did for the next and two years. And then percussion was my third. The the wow. Percussion was very easy on my lungs. And it was okay if we were bad at the instrument because we were in the very back. The first set of songs we learned was on this metal xylophone thing. But mm -hmm. I think the teacher thought everyone was so bad at that instrument that the rest of the songs we learned was on this drum. Just one <laughs> drum. It looked like this. So while everyone else had to learn face and every good boy deserves fudge and whatever these lines connecting the notes mean, we cool kids in the back only had to memorize three notes. A hit on the drum, a hit on the side of the drum, and not hitting the drum. I was a tuba guy. I played the tuba, and my second choice was flute, third percussion, and the only reason why um, flute was my second is because the way we set up our school, um, it was intermediate, I believe. Yes, it was definitely intermediate. Uh, whatever instrument you picked, if you were in band, that decided what team of class you were and our our like fifth or sixth grade year was divided by teams so for instance say your team kodak or team klondike all of your classes are like one side of the school so you're gonna see the same people so essentially if i play the tuba and my friend play the saxophone we were put on two different teams so like for the whole of sixth grade we barely saw each other because we had all different classes all different times because you're usually with your team it was a new experience for me having to go a year without your best friend and that's why i wanted to switch to flute because if i switch to flute then i'll be switched teams and then i'll be back with my best friend and i'll be going cool going good and plus tuba bro who wants to play tuba that's not a cool instrument you can't pick up no ladies saying that you play the tuba and plus air hurts you gotta blow a lot pause now those are my favorite notes <laughs> drums are so great. Nothing beats the drums. Drums are pretty cool. Like, you look dope in the back drums just hitting the drums. So my parents tried to get me to do extra activities, but I never did more than what I was told to do. That's, but that's okay. perfect. <laughs> you should at least try new things, and if it's not something you enjoy, 
Well, at least you tried. Now, with all the activities I did, I still I spent like plenty games. of my free time doing some other things. He's so optimistic. He's playing World of okay, Warcraft. I played a lot of Neopets and RuneScape. <gasps> and as much as I enjoyed these games, I would say overall, they didn't make me a more rounded person. I did play Neopets. Unless you count what they did to my horrible <laughs> posture. People will spend their free time doing what they enjoy. And entertainment is designed to be enjoyable entertaining oh. and while it's good to take some time doing things you enjoy <laughs> just like everything in life it's all about balance i think there's a very clear and important difference between a hobby and an addiction exactly if you enjoy playing video games and binging netflix in your free time then do that keyword being free time you still need to set time to sleep work and socialize try to talk to girls showers. some if of you I boys are not doing that just binging a show <laughs> then that's got to change while i was working on this video i wondered why it was more acceptable to be good at chess than it was World of Warcraft because at its core chess and Warcraft are the same thing okay I didn't have an addiction to this it was more of a hobby but back then where the internet not just started but it was fairly new you didn't have like Twitter Facebook all that you had online games and whatnot and forum posts I used to play Neopets okay don't make fun of me because my sister put me on that game she's the first one to play it and then she put me on it I used to play this thing called Millsberry it was like a bootleg version of the Sims I also used to play Battle on or Adventure Quest. I don't know what it's called now. And then I used to also play Dragon Fable. I think that was created by the same people who invented Adventure Quest. So yeah, those were my online games. And also I used to always visit the miniclip.com website, addicting free games. Like I used to be in school, like on the computer lab. When we went to the computer lab, I used to be playing video games. It was turning to an addiction, but it was more of a hobby because I don't play it anymore now. A game. But if you spend all your time playing one of these games and it gets in the way of you being a functional human being, addiction. that's when it becomes an addiction. And I would bet you one crisp dollar bill that more Ooh. people have gotten addicted to Warcraft than chess. Yeah. And that's why I believe there's a bad <laughs> stigma with that game. Also, I don't know how WoW works, but I know in chess you need to have at least one friend. If I could go back in time, I would tell my younger self to not play Neopets and RuneScape as much as I did. <laughs> I would have told me, hey, you should try out other things too, like rollerblading or the flute. Youth is the best time to learn what you love and where your passion is. Man, goes. he's your talking kids facts. Have no bills, no expectations, you're not tired all the time, and everyone's telling you to follow your dreams. But not me, I'm 22. <laughs> my life is practically over. I'm 22 I can't choose as well. any more hobbies. I feel old. <laughs> I, I wasted my childhood. <laughs> I'm not saying don't play video games or don't watch YouTube. I understand that my main demographic is people who watch YouTube. <laughs> but like I said before, it's all about the balance, trademark. So go out there, try new things, Ugh. join a club, go on a walk, draw something. I want to do I'm pottery biased, like that. Make a comic, write a short story, find a recipe online and That's cook from what, something. Dirty dancing? Or read a book. <laughs> Take breaks, yes, but never stop learning. And when you're an adult, you can force your children to learn, too. All right, that was it for this video, guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. Honestly, bro, I think he was talking facts in this video. You should go out and experience new things because you don't really know what you'll like or you don't or you won't like unless you experience it. And especially when you're a youth because he's 22, I'm 22. I'm telling you guys right now, when you're 20, even if, like 19-ish, once you get out of high school, really, you start getting bombarded with responsibilities. You get the real world just thrown at you. Real responsibilities. You gotta get a degree. You gotta get a job. You gotta do this. You gotta do that. But when you're a kid or a young teenager, bro, you, you're, the whole world is ahead of you. All you have to do is experience things. Have fun. Relax. Obviously, you still go to school and get your education. But still, you have much more leeway and a much more safety net than I do at 22. But don't forget to hit me to like, subscribe, and comment on this video if you want to reply from your truly Prince Charming. My name is Prince Alhawkins. Stay charmed, my friends.